Well, it looks as though Marvel's Phase 5 is not off to the greatest of starts. I imagine it's not what Marvel wanted or hoped for, but, you know, it's the same from what we've seen throughout the whole of Phase 4, and it's seemingly going into Phase 5 is they've just been producing trash movie after trash movie, and when you do that, people stop showing up, and then that results in this. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will likely finish its global box office run with under 500 million. In other words, an absolute flop, which I'm not surprised by uh, because you have produced trash movie after trash movie, and the, these are the results that you get when you do that. Uh, again, people may be looking at this number going, 500 million, that's all right. Well, not really, not considering uh, the move, the production budget, 200 million, the marketing budget, another 200 million, and then all the reshoots as well. How much do we think that is? Say 50 to 100 million. So if this is likely going to finish under that, well, they're going to lose money. That's that's not very good for the start of their phase five. We've went over the fact that, yeah, these are Ant-Man movies. But if we actually look at what the Ant-Man movies have done in the past, uh, the first one was 518 million and the second one, 623 you look at this one and it's already it's stuck on 447 million. So in other words, they're not going to make any money from this movie. And I'm not saddened by that fact. Uh, again, it's something that these studios deserve if they're not willing to put the effort in in order to get people to show up for for their next movies. But I imagine this is what we're going to continue to see throughout phase five. You know, ma the Marvels isn't far off. Do we think that's going to rake in the money? Don't see it happening. Uh, but after a typically strong opening, Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania suffered the biggest second week drop in the history of the MCU. And the Peyton redirected prequel never managed to recover. In its fourth week on general release, Quantumania grossed an estimated 9.8 million internationally for an overseas total of 249 million. Uh, worldwide, the movie now sits at 447.6 million. Uh, again, it's just it's just funny to me. It's really f that we're now starting to see this. Uh, again, it's, it's all downhill from here. As I've said, you may get a spike uh, in people showing up with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I don't think that's going to continue on to the Marvels. As soon as Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 3, uh, that's probably the only one that's going to be somewhat serviceable, uh, or if good at least. And after that, you know, again, what we got, the Marvels, Captain America 4 with no Captain America. Uh, again, you're, you're not looking at box office pullers. You're really not looking at much for it. Uh, as things stand, Marvel's first Phase 5 film is expected to finish its, finish its box office run with around 475 million to 490 million, making it the lowest earner of the Ant-Man franchise. Uh, some analysts have been attempting to put a positive spin on this, as as we've seen. Uh, again, we always have our chills. Tried to spin it in a way where it doesn't look bad, and, and it's just like we we all see the see the numbers. We all know how how much money is pumped into this to these movies. Uh, way too much, if you ask me, for for what we're actually getting out of it. Uh, it's just an it's just an Ant Man movie. Uh, again, it's well, it's the lowest. It is the lowest Ant Man movie that you know to make make its money. So you know the the excuse that it's an Ant Man movie doesn't really play out as well, does it? Uh, not an Avengers level event. But there's no getting away from how disappointing this performance is. Many major studio blockbusters tend to be critic-proof, but that hasn't proven to be the case for the MCU. Eternals also underperformed. I believe that was a, a movie that lost money. Uh, with negative reviews and poor word of mouth clearly impacting ticket sales, because now what we see most of the time is people wait and see what people are saying before they go and see these movies, because they, they know kind of what they're expecting. Uh, much better news for Paramount and Spyglass's Scream 6, which scared up a franchise best for 44.5 million opening weekend. You, you know, I, I, again, I'm looking at 
all these movies coming out like Scream 6s. And just, I'm kind of hoping that it makes more than Ant-Man because it would be funny to me. Uh, have you been to see, see Ant-Man 3? I never went to see it. I've seen it, though. You know, give you a little hint of that. So that's kind of what it's looking like for Marvel Phase 5 going forward. It's it's not looking good. Uh, again, your first movie, the start of Phase 5. You know, generally the first movie to start off the phase does should do a lot better. But they've started off on just, oh, we're going to lose a load of money. We put 200 million into production. It looks like shit. We've put 200 million into marketing. That didn't make a difference. And then we've went to reshoot it because that's now what we do with movies is we reshoot about 70% of the whole thing and then wonder why we don't get the returns. Uh, but that's, that's, again, Marvel have made their bed and now all they can do is lay in it. 